make me want to shout is the tagline for the highly anticipated show, Adventures of Akeem. And it has me shouting. I know it has everybody up in here shouting, right ladies? Yeah. <laughs> the screening for Adventures of Akeem is Friday, September 16th at the Remsen Hall in Brooklyn. And it's in a class of its own. Hear me when I say this. So it's something that you do not want to miss. And if you do, you suck. So be there. You are so beautiful. You make me want to shout. Akeem, the ladies' guy. Adventures of Akeem. Ibon, ah, Omaye. Don't shoot, oh. Steve Show, Akima Timor, Osa Sikadaro, Chastity Saunders, Katie Mack, Brianna Seagraves, Kadiri Bolare. Based on the escapades of a randy immigrant in New York City, this is hilarious comedy you don't want to miss for the whole world. So join us at Remsen Hall, 375 Remsen Avenue, Brooklyn, New York, on Friday, September 16th, 2011, 8 p.m. For ticket info, call 718-528-3195. Produced by Steve Show and Okimo Timor, and directed by Tope Odawu. A presentation of Royalty Films and T.Y. Gold Productions. Adventures of Akeem is the most significant show to hit New York City in a while. Adventures of Akeem is a show that talks about a relationship between a man and a woman in a comedic way, of course. And as we know, whether you're white, black, young, and old, there comes a point in your life where you will have to deal with relationship. So come join us, September 16th at Remsen Hall. You never know, you might learn a thing or two. Be there. I am just so excited because it presents in hilarious details the escapades of a womanizing Nigerian here in New York City. Ladies, trust me when I say, you are going to laugh out loud. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> He's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Summer is almost over, and here's a show to kick it off in grand style. Besides, you get a chance to say, I was there at the very beginning, because this show has promise. Adventures of Akeem is definitely a show with a lot of promise. By the time you come to the premiere, you get to see why I'm saying so. Uh, but talking about how the whole thing began, uh, it was Steve that came up with the concept, and he told me about it, and I said, well, that's the kind of project I love to work on here in New York City. I'm not based in the States, I'm based in Nigeria, so I have limited information or limited access to the pool of talent that we could use on the project. But we still needed to put together some kind of promo so people who will be interested in working with us or people who will be interested in investing in the project could look at it and they can connect better. Of course we didn't, uh, <laughs> we're not very successful getting people to invest on the project. I mean uh, it's such a difficult thing but we, we're happy that we've been able to push it this far you know and uh, that's how we got in touch with, uh, with Okima. We told her hey we needed someone who can cast this project for us. She saw some of the things we've done in the past and said, okay, fine, let's, let's go ahead with this. And that's how we, the whole process started. I scripted it and then we got people together. We um, had the auditions and it's been fun ever since. And I'm so happy that we've been able to push the project this far. Of course, we have our limitations, which everybody in production knows about. I mean, it's always, always about funding and all that. But we've made a very good statement. I mean, we, we've done quite a lot. I mean, we've pushed the envelope even higher. And the character of Akim is very robust. 
and it's going to be relating with virtually every creed and tribe on the face of this earth. Uh, when you consider the fact that New York City or America as a whole is home to virtually everybody from everywhere in the world, then you'll understand why it is very important that we actually uh, tell this kind of story, especially from the perspective of an African. And you see that we've retained this identity, we've not tampered with it in any way. He's not trying to ape Americans or trying to be what he's not. He's very true to himself and he makes honest mistakes. And um, he allows his emotions to ride him most of the time. And of course, he gets burned for it. So you find out that this is quite an amazing, amazing adventure. You see someone who is so grown up, but down deep inside is just a kid. He just wants to have fun. <laughs> so I guess if you love having fun, if you want to um, enjoy yourself, I think it's very important that you're part of this show on the 16th of September at Remsen Hall. We have it all packed and I'm very sure you will not regret it. What these actors have done is quite impressive. I mean, they give you their all. And you can see the spirit, even whilst we were working on set, everybody was so into it. Everybody was so excited about it. Everybody wanted to give something. Everybody wanted to throw themselves into the show. And the energy was so strong. And I'm so happy that we were able to pull it off the way we did. Um, it's yet another success story for us here. And we're very happy about it. So thank you very much. So come on out, let's have fun. It's gonna be all fun that day and I'm um, looking forward to meeting you there. Thank you very much. When we first met to talk about the project, you know, we met at a restaurant, it was me, Tope, and Steve, and they had this idea, and they showed me their original trailer, and I was like, I thought the idea was absolutely fabulous. So I called up some friends, um, Osasi Godaro, who's Miss Black USA 2010, and she's an actress, you know, graduate of the Pace University Actors School. And I called up my girlfriend, Chastity Saunders, who is an actress and a, you know, celebrity plus size model and, and just a wonderful person altogether, great personality. Um, called them up specifically, called up uh, Little Bob because I thought that he would make a phenomenal uh, character, just being that he is this big, strong man until you see him stand up and then it's like, you wouldn't even think, you know, it is what it is. And so then I just reached into the black acting community and not just the black community, we actually have a pretty diverse cast, which I'm happy about. Um, but I used Facebook, uh, shout out to Casting Actors of Color. That's a very big group that we posted some things on and um, positive promotions and all these different groups and the Air It Out show, their group. And so we went to these different measures and then we also posted on Craigslist and some other places. And we got a lot of great feedback. We got so many responses. Like the inbox was overloaded with responses from people that wanted to be a part of the project. And we were able to kind of have our auditions and select the people we thought were best for these roles. But a lot of the people that we saw were really good and we will be able to you know, circle back with them because this is a show that really incorporates a lot of day players. So if you're not a recurring uh, role on the show, you definitely can be a day player and you never know. These writers are kind of tricky. You never know when you might be written back into the script. So it's been it's been really good. And you know, the cast is very cohesive. Um, everybody's so supportive, very loving, um, attentive. You know, they listen. They're very easy to direct. I think Tope really didn't have a hard time with anyone directing right. them or having to, you know, everybody brought what they had to the table and then Tope yes. took all of that and, yes. you know, no redirected it and, and got what he Rush needed from it. And, you know, he's a phenomenal director. And then of course our main character, Steve Sho, um, who plays Akeem. Uh, it's been amazing to watch Steve. I have seen him grow as an actor. I've seen him grow as, as a businessman in the film business. Um, we met a year, maybe two years ago, working on a project together and I had never met him before and I saw him, you know, do this really great job in this film, uh, independent Nollywood film, and um, to watch who he was and where he was then to now, the transition has been amazing and, you know, just his dedication to the project, to the character, um, his dedication to the cast and to just being professional and making sure that everybody is good and, and those are things that you want on set. We were very adamant about having a 
professional and wonderful set. And, um, you know, he really contributed to that along with Tope, who I had never met. And as soon as I met him, we clicked. And um, it just really worked. It's been a wonderful experience. I couldn't ask for a better cast. I can't wait for you know all of you to come out and see the project and see what we're doing, see the adventures of Akeem, and know that even where we are, there's higher heights for us to get. So you know, through the bumps in the road and through the snags and the craziness, you know, we're looking forward to our own growth and our own forward movement. And um, so we thank you for your support, for coming out, and for those actors watching, if you want to be a part, stay tuned to our Facebook page because you never know when we're casting again and we still have plenty to do because Akeem is more foolishness to get into. So make sure you come and check us out at the premiere on the 16th at the Remsen Hall. And um, I can't tell you anymore because I don't want to give it away, but Please make sure you come and have a great time and be prepared to laugh, to be entertained, to be engaged, and to get all wrapped up in the adventures or misadventures of Hakeem. Thanks, guys. You hear that? It's not great, right? We're gonna go check them out. Boys to Men Juniors in the house, bringing back R&B. And you can check them out at the screening Friday, September 16th for Adventures of Our King. You better be there. You better be there. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bernard from the Group of Donuts. It's your boy Eric. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Teddy. And I'm Dex, and we are Adonis. Come to make it happen September 16th. Be yeah. there or be square. Adventures of a King, Big Up, Royalty Films, TY Gold Productions, September 16th, we're performing yeah. live! 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 live. Be there or be square. Yeah. So, that's yeah. Shelly! Yeah. 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 You guys sound really good. We have Definitely. Shell in the house, and she will be performing at the screening as well, Friday, September 16th, 2011. Cheer! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am so ready for this show. We are putting on a great show on September 16th. The backup dancers have their dances packed. We're ready, it's about to be an amazing show. You have to be there. If you're not there, you're missing like the greatest event of the summer. So make sure you buy your tickets on time. I will see you September 16th. and Adonis is going to be there tonight, but not just them, there's also going to be Tiz, who is a poet and a dope lyricist. I'm not going to tell you how he's going to bring it down, he's just, going to, he's just going to be on the stage bringing it, just like that. And we also have Young L who's going to rock the house like crazy. He is the bomb. Trust me when I say this Nigerian crew has music lyrics that's going to blow your mind. To cap it all up, we have our very own special Lady of Laughter, Hadia Robinson, who's going to be the special host for that event. Right, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Because kidnapping really is not a bad situation. It's just the first date you didn't know was coming, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's been planning this for weeks. That is so cute. <laughs> right? He know everything you like already because he's been stalking you. I love it. <laughs> I couldn't get kidnapped. I'd be too excited, right? I'd be in a car tied up and blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where are we going? <laughs> this is going to be the show to beat because they all have it on lockdown. Clink, clink, LD, y'all. We can't wait to see you at the screening. We've gone through every little detail to make sure you have a great time. And come well dressed too because it's going to be fabulous. 
The gorgeous Jaressa Blount will be welcoming you at the red carpet. Hi, lovely people. This is your sassy but classy host, Jaressa B. And I am so excited to say that September the 16th, I will be on the red carpet for the premiere screening of Adventures of Akeem. You have to be there. It is so hilarious. The cast is absolutely wonderful. And Steve, well, I can't wait to see what he's up to as Akeem. And the lovely ladies, you don't wanna miss. So, come and catch me September 16th on the red carpet for Adventures of Akeem. See you there. What the, what? Okay, I missed that one. Wait a minute. <laughs> Just tell me when to jump, cause I, I don't know when to. This is fine, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going with it. Now you see this thing right here? This is the gadget to own. And you know what? One lucky guest is gonna get to go home with it. I assure you, it's the latest in games and you can do just about anything with it. <laughs> Jump, okay. We missing all the coins, right? We ain't got no more coins. Oh, are we playing another one? So I see this is why all the kids stay inside. <laughs> and then the after party, y'all. My goodness, the fun will never stop at the screening of Adventures of Akeem. So come on, have a good time at the most hilarious comedy to hit New York in a long while. So we want you guys to get here. So take any means necessary. Take the boat, the plane, the train, bus. You can hike it. You can skateboard it. It doesn't matter. Just get there. Or you can get your guy to bring you. <laughs> Ooh, September 16th, be there.